What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another predicted lineup video for Nottingham Forest at home. Three o'clock kickoff on Saturday at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Antonio Conte has come out swinging in his press conference today, talking about the team news. Um, what is it? Okay, so let's have a look. When we come to injuries and suspensions, we'll start with the injury list Hugo Lloris, Yves Basuma, Rodrigo Bensoncourt and Ryan Sessignon are still on the injured list. And the doubts we heard today, Emerson Royale and Ivan Perisic. Yeah, we're hearing uh, Royale and Perisic both haven't trained um, in the last days, so they will be having a late fitness test to see if they are available for the game. I think we're going to assume that they're not available um, and we're going to go for a 3-4-3 formation as per usual. In goal, we're going to go for Fraser Forster. And I think that... A lot of people had their worries about him coming in, but he's stepped in and done, done all right, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, we had that. Do you remember when I was saying I wanted him in before uh, Lloris got injured? But mm. he had the bad game against Leicester, but he showed a, one of the two better performers against AC Milan, and I think he's done well in his position. Mm, yeah, I'd agree with that. <coughs> On to the right wing sure. back, Emerson Royale being a doubt, Porro impressing at the moment, so we are going to stick with Porro at right wing back and he's going to be so important for us um, for that charge down that right hand side isn't he in, in search for a goal yep I, I, I think he is and like I said uh, Brendan Johnson is their huge uh, pro, uh, worry but it might be this is the time where we do see the more <laughs> complete performance from him both defensively and offensively so uh, looking forward to seeing him yeah absolutely and next to him on the right hand side we're going to see Christian Romero obviously got sent off in the pivotal game against AC Milan but I, I think it's been no um, kind of surprise that the good performance we've seen from Porro has been with Romero next to him. Yep and uh, I'm ready to start Romero, uh, Romero yellow car bingo again so we'll <laughs> see. Um, yeah he, he, owes a, he, he needs to put in a good performance after what we saw on Wednesday and like you said uh, you, you've been saying it a while now that we need to see Porro next to Romero and he has looked brighter doing that. So let's hope that continues. Absolutely. Um, in the centre of the back three, we're going to go for Eric Dyer, a return to the team as he's been out of the team for the last two games and we haven't scored and lost both games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can you say about Dyer? I mean, this is an obvious one that he's going to walk back in, especially if this Emerson and Perisic is true and then that forces Davies out. So then you're narrowing our defenders. He's another one that owes us a big performance. <laughs> I think every single one of them owes us a big <laughs> yeah, performance. That's a good point. To be that's a good point. Um, so that's Romero and Dyer. On the left, we're going to go for Clement Longley, seeing as, like you say, Ben Davis will probably be pushed out to the, to the wing. Longley is really the only option there. Yep, oh, there's nothing more to say than that. He is uh, by proxy, isn't he, really? Yeah. And then to make up that back five, as I mentioned, Ben Davis on that left wing back role. And to be honest, um, over the last month, month and a half, he's probably been the best performer in that position, seeing as Perisic has been pretty bad and Cessna has been injured. Isn't it amazing? Only last season we were saying, oh my God, Ben Davis is so much better as a left centre-back. And then we got used to playing left centre-back and now all of a sudden the position we bought him in, he's been the best left-back. Um, but yeah, I, I feel a lot more comfortable with him at left-back compared to Perisic. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a back five of Fraser Forster in <coughs> goal. Pedro Porro right wing. Ben Davis, left wing back, Kuti Romero, Eric Dyer, and Clement Longley as a back three. Moving on to midfield, a bit of a familiar midfield. I think you're going to see first starting with Ollie Skip. Yeah, I mean, it's what more can you say? We've been saying he's probably the brightest performer the last uh, three or four games. So I think uh, I think he's the first name on the team sheet when it comes to the midfield too at the moment. Hoiberg's a bit. Uh, uh, off steam at the moment, but skip totally warranted. Mm. And alongside him, we are going <coughs> to go with Pierre Emil Hoybier. I think it's um, a bit up and down with Hoybier at the moment, to be honest. I think one game he's been absolutely brilliant, and the next game he plays poor. In the last game against AC Milan, I thought he started the game poorly, but I thought he really grew into it and was one of our better players on the day. Um, and hopefully, he can just, you know, have a really good performance this weekend. And I think that. When you're looking at Hoybier, once you do ask him to play two games a week, he can be found wanting sometimes. But do you think there's maybe a case for Pape Matasar to start in this game? It's what I wanted versus Milan, mm. Skip and Saar. I really did one against Milan after what they did. But the good thing is we now know we've got that option. And if it does happen, we're not as in, uh, as worried as we were prior to that Milan game. So uh, Hoybier, God, it's not just two games a week. It's the amount of sheer games he plays every single season. It's going to catch up with him. Um Hopefully this will be one of his better games. 
Let's hope so. So that's a skip and Hoybier double pivot. On the right-hand side of the attack, we're going to look at Dejan Kulisevsky, and he needs to have a big performance tomorrow. Yeah, there's nothing more to be said about that. He, he desperately needs to find uh, the form from before the World Cup. Yeah, so Kulisevsky on the right. On the left, we're going to go with Hyungmin Son. After the remarks from Conte today and from Ivan, uh, not from Richarlison after the game, it kind of feels like he will be out the team, and uh, that leaves a clean way for Sonny unless Dan Juma comes in, which we highly doubt. <laughs> we very <laughs> highly doubt. Um, yeah, I think this is again by default because of Richarlison's actions and speaking. So yeah, it, it's going to be Sonny. Mm, and then up top is obviously going to be the main man, Harry Kane. And um, look, Harry Kane, after that Man City game, when he broke the record, he scored one goal since then against Chelsea. Hasn't, um, it's probably the slowest period of the season, isn't it? Yeah, well, well, let's face it. We all wanted variety in the top uh, top part. And guess what we got? <laughs> Normality. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, so again, like you said, he got the goal. He's been, he had been adding before that some brilliant passes and getting involved in the game but that seems to have dried up apart from that goal against Chelsea so that front that, that front three need big performances today tomorrow yeah absolutely so let's run through that lineup with you guys one more time in goal it can be Fraser Forster right wing back Pedro Porro right centre back Kuti Romero central centre back Eric Dyer, mm -hmm. left centre back Clement Longley left wing back Ben Davis right sided centre midfielder Oli Skip on the left we're going to see Pierre Emil Hoybier Right number 10, Dejan Kulisevsky. Left-sided number 10, Hyungmin. And then up front is going to be Harry Kane. If that is the, the lineup and the formation, what scoreline are you going for? 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Yeah, fair enough. I'm, there's not a good feeling about Spurs at the moment, but I feel like we can just about get over the line against a Nottingham Forest team who've been poor away from home all season. So I'm going to go for Spurs just to get over the line, and I think Harry Kane will get the goal. Brian's going 1-1. One, one. Who's going to score it for us? Uh, let's go Kulisevsky. Kulisevsky back on the goals. I love it. So uh, let me know your score predictions. Let me know your predicted lineup. And uh, come and see us on the watch along this weekend. It will be me and Brian here in indeed. the studio from quarter to three on Saturday. So come and uh, join it and join with us and um, get three points <laughs> up the Spurs. Like, subscribe, and comment. And as always, come on, you Spurs. Spurs.